Before I start traveling, we're going to talk about buying or renting a motorbike in Vietnam. I'm going to show you my experience with you. So let's begin. Hi, in this video we will talk about buying and renting a motorbike in Vietnam. I'm going to share my experience with you and also share a couple of tips that you can use. So let's talk about buying and renting a motorbike. First, renting a motorbike. The thing is, if you're staying on a short term here like one month, rent a motorbike. That's simple. It may be expensive, but it's a correct way to do it. thing is, um, it's also sometimes cheaper. But if you're staying here on the long run, like three months or six months, buy a motorbike. Renting is not that profitable. That I can tell you. So um, let me explain to you how it works. If you are here in Vietnam, most time if you want to rent a motorbike, you will get it for a cheaper price if it's for a long run. You won't get it for a cheaper price if it's for a short period. It's that simple. The problem with renting is when something goes wrong, you have a problem. It's that simple. And what are you going to do about it? Let me give you an example. If I'm driving around with a renting bike, if I get an accident, I need to pay for a bike because the bike is not mine, I'm renting it. That's simple. But if I buy a bike, so I bought a bike and I'm driving around, so the accident happened, I can throw the bike away, just buy, buy a new one. It's that simple. Yeah. The bikes here are really cheap. It depends what you really like. I would advise you if you're planning to drive up north, buy, don't buy an automatic, buy a semi manual. Because when you go uphill, it's going to be hard to switch gear. So watch out for that. Um, what I'm going to do is let's talk about buying. The thing is when you're buying a motorbike, it's, it's important that you know what you're buying. And sometimes if you buy a motorbike or rent a motorbike in the central area like District 1 here in Ho Chi Minh City, you have a problem. Why? You will pay a lot for renting a bike or buying a bike while you can get it for cheap at the local area, outside the central area. So what you need to do is think about, hey, how can I get the local to help me out? And how can you do that? You have a lot of students here. And the students are willing to help you and in return you help them practice English because they really want to learn English. So what you need to do is, hey, look some students up. You can look them up on Facebook. They have Facebook groups. Talk to them and say, listen, I want to buy a motorbike and advise me. And sometimes they're going to go with you. They're going to spend a day with you walking in the city. Talk to them. Help them with their English so they can improve English and get more confident. And when you do that, they can help you get a bike. It's that simple. If you want to get contact with students, feel free to contact me. I'm a business lawyer, but sometimes I teach students English. So um, if you want to get contact with students in Ho Chi Minh City, you're free to contact me. Let's talk about buying a motorbike. Buying a motorbike is between one, uh, $100, $200, and sometimes $300. It depends what kind of motorbike it is. And just remember, when you buy a motorbike, you need to fix it first. Because if you do not fix it, you screw. So, for example, if I buy a motorbike, it's 450, make sure I have 1 million to upgrade the motorbike, like changing the battery, changing the oil, or make sure that everything is correct before I start traveling. Because when something goes wrong, you have a problem. That's simple. And the gas here is really cheap for a full tank, a full tank for a motorbike is around $4 or $5, so it depends. Sometimes really cheap, sometimes like $2, $50,000, dollars like $2. Uh, so it depends on the current rate. But nevertheless, just make sure if you're traveling here, if you're traveling to Vietnam, if you have one month visa, rent a bike. If you have three month visa, buy a bike. That's my advice to you. I'm going to be too clear. Yeah, that's my advice for you. If you have other questions about renting and buying a bike in Vietnam, feel free to contact me. See you in the next video. Power, 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 power